This is problem number four from section 6.2. This problem's uh, probably the hardest problem that you'll have in the section. It's a, it's a really good problem. Uh, and they want us to find H, which is this height here, but they only give us some information uh, for the angle on this right triangle, and they give us the angle of the large right triangle, and then they give us this little piece of information, this 350 that goes from right here to right here. So anytime you get a problem like this, I mean, we're in section 6.2, so this is talking about right triangle trig, you want to use the right triangles to, to help you solve the problem. Now, I'm going to need to figure, in order to find H, I'm probably going to need to know this side right here or this side here. Now this side here seems like it's probably the easier side to find. So I'm going to put an X here and we're going to call this the length from this end to this spot right here. So X is this distance. So the total distance for our outside triangle would be X plus 350. So we're going to start with the outside triangle. And uh, the outside triangle is the 26.6 degrees. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of draw these figures right here. So I'm going to say this, uh, this is the outside triangle. I'm going to label it. This is 26.6 degrees. This is H. And this is 350 plus X. And I'm going to label it outside. And then I'm going to label the inside triangle. So I'm going to draw another one. And I'm going to label it 46.4 degrees, and this is X, and this is H. Now you should be seeing where I'm going with this. If we write up a function here to solve for uh, H or X, and we do the same thing here, H or X, we'll get two equations with both H and X in them, so we can use systems of equations to solve. Let's label this inside. So at first, I'm going to start with the outside function. Oop. Outside function. So the equation for the outside function, this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse. So the opposite side is H. The adjacent side is 350 plus X. O and A, remember if we use SOHCAHTOA here, so let's kind of write this, see if we can write it here. So, Katoa. So if we use Sokotoa, remember O and A is tangent. So I'm going to use tangent of the angle 26.6 degrees equals the opposite side, which is H, over 350 plus X. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the inside function. So I'm going to say inside function. I'm going to label that this is the opposite side of the angle. This is the adjacent side. And then this is the hypotenuse here. So the opposite side is H. The adjacent side is X. So for the inside function, I will get tan 46 0.4 degrees equals, uh, we're going to say H over X. So you can see I've got two equations, right, that both have H in them. They both have X in them. Because I have the same variables, and I have two unknowns, and I have two equations, I can use systems of equations to solve this. I'm going to use substitution. So let's rewrite this equation here so that we can use it better. All right, the outside function is really going to equal, if I multiply by this denominator, the 350 plus X, I'll end up with H equals, I hope I'm gonna run out of room on the video. I'm gonna slide over just a little bit. So I'll end up with H equals, tan 26.6 nope I'm gonna write down here just trying to cram it all in there it didn't work 
Sorry about that. So I'm going to come down here with the outside equation, multiply by the 350 plus x. I get h equals 10, 26.6 uh, times the 350 plus x. All right, multiply this to this side. We get 10, 26.6 times 350 plus x. Do the same thing here with the inside function. Multiply by x, and we'll get h equals x tan 46.4. Now we're set up really well because we have h equals this, h equals that. If the h's equal each other, like if they equal this and they equal this, h is the same thing. We can set this equal to this. So we're going to say tan 26.6 times 350 plus x equals x tan 46.4. Now at this point here, I'm going to use a method that I think will work about every single time. So I'm going to plug in tan 26.6 and I'm going to get the decimal number for that. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, Let's go ahead and divide this out first. So I'm going to take tan 26.6 and I'm going to divide it out to this side. I think most of you would probably think that that was a good idea. So 350 plus x equals x tan 46.4 all over tan 26.6. Now I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to plug in tan 46.4. So tan 46.4. I'm going to divide it by tan of 26.6. And it gives me 2.097. I'm going to use 2.097 as my coefficient here. So I'm going to say 350 plus x equals 2.097 x because this gives me the 2.097 times x. Now at this point you should see kind of where to go from here. right? We have an x on the right side and x on the left side or two of them on the right side, one on the left. Let's subtract the one over. We get 350 equals 1.097 x when you subtract an x from each side. Divide by 1.097 so 350 divided by 1.097 equals x. Plug that in the calculator. So 350 divided by 1.097 tells us that we have 319. Uh, let's see what they want us to round to. Nearest integer. So 319 would be the nearest integer there. So our answer is 319. So recap it real quick. We want to use the right triangles in this problem, draw them out, write two equations that have the same variables in them, obviously, and use systems of equations to solve.